Hello, welcome to the official YouTube channel of the Guild of Aspiring Psychologists, University of Batangas, Lipa Campus. And today, our topic is about how to start the second semester. College is not an easy task. Some students wanted high grades, while some only wanted a diploma. Some undergraduate courses require a board examination, like BS Psychology. College is not only supposed to be for minimum survival. It is about learning the essentials of your course, where you want to excel, what you want to learn, and what you want to set yourself in the future. Each semester is a battle. The first thing to remember is what happened in the first semester shall pass. Whether you got high grades or low grades, you should focus on your present because disappointment and flattery will not get a person to med school. Second, still related to the first, it is important to bounce back. If you miss something in the first semester or some subjects you don't understand, go back. Make new goals, new study habits, because like a psychology program, whether you like it or not, you will face research topics here and there. You will make an essay that must be original and not plagiarized, and the series of subject is like a TV series, wherein you can jump to season 4 without watching season 1. Third, to accomplish what you want to do at school, you must have a designated study area. Find a spot in your home, be it a kitchen table or a study table in your room. Avoid it laying down. Ang dami nang nasirang buhay dahil to. Never study while laying down because you might realize that you reviewed only in your dreams. Fourth, let's move to how you will handle online classes. Start by opening your camera. Some of us might be camera shy, but let it be your self-restriction to avoid distraction. You can turn off your camera if you want to blink for like 5 minutes, but the point here is you will be encouraged to listen when your professor can see you. The fifth is, as we all know, the traditional mode of classes might happen again one of these days, probably next semester or in the middle of a semester. It is important to be prepared because it is very strict. You will not be able to search on Google while inside the classroom. And the actual fifth tip is always to take notes because some professors do exams in their own unique ways. They say things that might not appear in the module or books. They want the students to remember. And there is a certain magic that taking notes provides. Comment down below if you would like us to make a content about taking notes. Okay. <laughs> Number six, make reading a part of your daily habit. At least one page per day until it develops onto three to five pages a day and Woo! voila, you won't notice you have finished a book. Another tip is if you can't avoid checking your phones while doing your review, might as well do a video time lapse to monitor yourself. Last will be to believe in yourself and keep holding on. Dr. Jerzen, our psychology program head, always reminds us that college is not a race. What matters is being able to finish the college program that you chose. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel. And if you study here in the University of Batangas Lipa or anywhere you are, you can comment down below what content we must do next. Thank you and have a nice day!